Notice of a public meeting of the City Commission of City of Brownsville with an addendum. Pursuant to Chapter 551, Title 5 of the Texas Government Code, the Texas Old Meeting Act, notice is hereby given that the City Commission of the City of Brownsville, Texas, in accordance with Article 5, mm -hmm. Section 12 of the Charter of said City, will convene an executive session and a regular meeting on Tuesday, March 1st, 2016, at 5.30 p.m., 5.30 p.m. and 6 p.m. in the Commission Chambers on the second floor of the Brown City Hall and Federal Building located at 1001 East Elizabeth Street, Browns of Cameron County, Texas. Executive Session, 5.30. I move we go into Executive Session, Mayor. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Regular meeting, Pledge of Allegiance. that we're blessed to be a part of. We thank you for our responsibilities as citizens. And Lord, we ask you to lead and guide the voters as they choose their leaders. Uh, lead and guide every election worker to make this process smooth and accurate in the counting of the votes. And Lord, we ask you to lead and guide our mayor and our commissioners here tonight. Lord God, you see the beginning and the end, and we see a portion of that. And we ask you to give them the, the discernment and direction they need for tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. 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 Action on item discussed in executive session B. Action on item discussed. I hear a motion. Motion to proceed as Second. discussed. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion aye. carries. Mayor's activity update. Just want to take a, a real quick moment to express my gratitude to the entire city of Brownsville for having a wonderful Char Days. And then a special shout out and thanks to each and every one of the commissioners for all they did. Uh, starting with Jessica at the airport and um, the the luncheon that we had everybody did uh, really great and Rick always especially for the, the energy that you bring to char days every year Thank you, Mayor. Um, and so let's look looking forward to next year and and a few more things between now and then that's my report commissioners activity update just real quick, I want to remind everybody today is election day of the primaries. You have one hour to go vote. Make your voice heard, make your vo vote count, and uh, be counted. So thank you. If nothing else, we have item number three. Item number three, presentations, employee of the month. Mayor, members of the commission, uh, our employee for uh, the month of March is uh, Luis Alberto Castillo. We call him Albert. Albert works at our, M our MIS uh, department. Uh, he's one of our computer analysts. He has worked for the city of Brownsville since uh, January of 2000. Uh, became a computer coordinator in 2004. He has uh, recently been uh, reclassified as a, ne a network administrator. Uh, he works wonderfully in our city always available for us. Uh, he's been working on some of the projects that are of concern to us, uh, this, the SCADA, which is the Control Data Acquisition uh, Program, uh, detects water levels and things like that. He has been taking the, the charge in that. Uh, he's working with Wi-Fi 
at our parks, a multitude of responsibilities that he has. He's one of the senior persons there at the MIS department. Uh, uh, obviously a great employee, but we also want to thank him for his activities away from work. He's also uh, a coach uh, out there with, uh, with our youth in, in uh, football programs and things like that. And obviously he has a great family that are here with him today, his uh, wife and two children. And for his achievement, uh, we give him the plaque for the Employee of the Month for March. A watch, not computerized, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the Employee of the Month And a few words from Robert, and uh, we thank his family for always making him available to us. Mayor, Commissioners, uh, thank you very much for this award, City Manager. Uh, it's been an honor to work for the city. Um, there's been a lot of new experiences and challenges throughout these years. Uh, done so many projects here. Um, I also want to thank my um, director, MIS, uh, Gil Brusiak, and uh, MIS team, you know, to, for making it feel at home because I spend most of the time here at work than what I do at the house. <laughs> <laughs> and again, thank you. Well, thank you and your family. Thank you guys for being here with your dad. Thank you. <laughs> Item number four, consent agenda items. Items A through E. Motion approved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <clears throat> Item number five, public hearing and action on first reading on ordinance number 2016-1220-J, amending chapter two, administration article five, finance division two fees section 2-432, and entitled fees and charges for administrative services and dealing with related matters. Uh, mayors and commissioners, this is a housekeeping. Um, the ordinance hasn't been changed since uh, 2006, I believe. So what I'm trying to do for my office is update the fees of schedule. There's three main things we're doing. We're deleted obsolete items. We were issuing VHS, VHS tapes, cartridges, data cartridges, mylar. So it was in the ordinance, but they're no longer using those. Second thing is we're aligning the cost with the state. My office does issue birth and death records, which are the state governed. So we're aligning that. And then I'm also adding notary services to individuals that come in. We do it for candidates to come in. So we're also we're going to be charging for notary service on that. And we also notice service for acknowledgement paternity. So we're just opening it for uh, making it more streamlined. Okay. Um, it's a public hearing, so ask. Okay. Public hearing. Anybody have any comments? Close public hearing. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Approved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Mr. Public hearing in action on first reading on ordinance number 2016-1613, amending chapter two administration, article four, boards and committees commissioned by adding division five, sections 2374 through 2-381 Main Street Advisory Board to establish the structure and guidelines to advise city staff on all matters relating to the historic preservation, economic development, and revitalization of downtown Browns in accordance with the Main Street four point approach. Mayor, city commission, good evening. Um, as you know, well know, we are a Texas Main Street city. And one of the things that uh, the Main Street program does is it sets out a, a strategy for downtown revitalization. <clears throat> um, Miriam uh, would, was going to present this, but uh, she was not able to make it today for family reasons. But uh, this, is, this is basically the ordinance setting the board uh, and establishing the Texas Main Street Advisory Board. So as you can see, it's a partnership between the THC and the city of Brownsville. Uh, and this is the four point approach as an organization. There is uh, promotion, economic restructuring and design. We're already starting to see some good things uh, through this partnership. The THC has been active here in Brownsville already. We're working with some owners on some potential uh, facade design. So it's already paying dues for us. Um, this ordinance will set up, set up a nine-member board. Uh, seven of these members have to be community members or property owners in the downtown area, uh, and two city employees will be appointed by the city manager. Uh, they will serve two-year terms. Uh, they must be residents of Brownsville, uh, and appoint, appointees must be knowledgeable about the economic or business development, historic preservation, architecture, marketing, and or promotion. The purpose of this board is to assist in developing st strategic downtown plan, develop programs, brand downtown Brownsville, engage other business owners, assist in the recruitment of volunteers, and develop an annual report for this commission. 
Um, we ask for your approval today. Uh, we have opened these applications for anybody that's watching that wants to apply uh, to be part of, of the uh, advisory board. We, we welcome applications. Uh, and I think we're going to open them for about 30 to 45 days, and then we'll bring those appointments to you uh, sometime in April. We, we want to have it uh, uh, in April. We want to have this board established so we have the first meeting. Um, so I'll entertain any questions. Yeah, this is public hearing. Any comments? Motion to close public hearing. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item thank, number seven. Thank you, Carmita. Um, Item number seven, public hearing and action on first reading on ordinance number 2016-1600.02, repelling current section 320-37 of chapter 320, article two, and replacing it with new section 320-37 design standards. Uh, Mayor of City Commission, this is a small change to uh, our sidewalk ordinance. So we passed um, an ordinance about three years ago uh, three or four years ago now, uh, requiring <coughs> sidewalks in commercial, uh, in commercial properties. This is a change we've been wanting to make for a while where, where um, uh, so this is the current section of uh, section 320.37. This is the current requirement. If any, connect, if any connect, connection opportunities exist, sidewalk must be connected. So we're actually expanding that. We've seen some instances where, you know, the, the minimum requirement is a four foot sidewalk. There are areas of town where the city or somebody else is building 10-foot sidewalks or 6-foot sidewalks. So this is just a, a correction to make sure that if they're abutting to a 6-foot sidewalk, they need to match that width um, or a 10-foot sidewalk. So either way, uh, and you can see the, 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 we're adding this language in red, um, and uh, we, we asked for your approval today. The other one that's changing is uh, Section 320.37. Um, so, and I'll have a picture of this. Uh, we are changing it to require a two-foot buffer from the curb, uh, a, a two-foot buffer. And, and these, this is an example uh, of, of um, these are all local examples. Um, this one, I, don't, I can't remember what street, the one on the, the previous requirement. So that's what we would require now. And as, if, as you can see, when the sidewalk is up against the curb, it's not quite as inviting for, for a pedestrian. So. Um, the one on the right, the new requirement, that is a city project, that's San Marcelo, um, and we have installed that two-foot buffer, and as you can see, it's a lot more inviting for a pedestrian, um, and that's what we want to see throughout town. So, um, so that will now be a requirement, um, and uh, I'll entertain any questions. Okay. And Over so here. if somebody, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, go ahead. If somebody has a mailbox, they can put it in that area of the buffer, right? Uh, true, yes. That way it's not. Yes, exactly. It, it's a whole different feeling when you're up against the curb. It, I mean, you, know, yeah. you can definitely tell. And, um, so that, it's kind of like the 6th Street, you know, that's a huge buffer. I mean, people are using it all the time. I see them all the time, so it's been great. Okay. Any other public hearing? Now I'll entertain a motion. Motion to approve. Mo I'm motion sorry, to motion to close public hearing. Sorry. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Both motions carry. Item number eight, public hearing and action on first reading on ordinance number 2016-1479-C, repealing current section 332-171 of chapter 332, article four of the city of Brownsville subdivision code, and replacing it with section 332-171, fees in lieu of dedication. So uh, this is another minor change to our pub, uh, park dedication ordinance. We, 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 we amended it in 2011 or 2010. Um, and this is a, a very small change uh, in language. So uh, we're going to continue to collect the same amount of fees. There's no change in, there's no change in that. Um, but there was a language that restricted the, uh, the, the fees to two miles. Um, and w w there are instances where, you know, maybe we want to spend, maybe we want to acquire some parkland in an area of town that doesn't get a whole lot of subdivision activity because this charge is, is triggered by subdivisions. So, um, so we want to be able to use if we want if we want to have that flexibility uh, to be able to use that fund that money to to purchase or anything uh, in areas that might not have a lot of subdivision activity. So uh, the area, the little sentence in red, is um, is the ability is, it gives us that ability. So that's why we're asking for this amendment. 
So I'll entertain any questions. Okay, pub public hearing. Motion to close public hearing. <coughs> Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 And Motion public comment, we do have one, a reverend. items consideration action on resolution number 2016-12 to adopt design guidelines for historical residential and commercial properties in the 011 downtown heritage overlay district of the city of brown uh, mary city commission this is a, a project that um, was uh, started a couple years back and it and um, they, they did a very thorough study of uh, the heritage or historic overlay so just a couple of months ago you we we amended the ordinance um, and now we're bringing these design guidelines for you so that that um, that committee that com uh, the historic <coughs> preservation and design review board uh, can use these guidelines for uh, to 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 issue permits to uh, provide guidance on design in in a neighborhood or in the overlay uh, and we think it's a it's a very important part of their of their duty and uh, and it, it'll be a very very useful tool uh, to this, uh, to this commission, uh, to, to this commission and to the, the design review board. Um, so once again, their guidelines, um, and the ordinance, the historic, over, the historic overlay ordinance, uh, specifically states that uh, these guidelines will be interpreted by mm -hmm. the Her uh, heritage review board. Okay. This so, is an action uh, item. Motion, your motion to approve. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Number 11. Item number 11, consideration action to award a term contract for uniforms for the use by the Brownsville Fire and EMS Department. Good evening, Mayor. Chief, how are you doing? Uh, commissioners. Um, here to present any questions that you have about our uniform contract. It's 275 per person, uh, 187 personnel. And it was. Uh, Two times in October 18th, and again, it was done November 16th, and one bid was received. Okay. Thank Motion you, to Chief. approve. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Chief. Aye. Item number 12. Second. Item number 12, consideration action to award contract for the installation and removal of carpet for the city of Brownsville Event Center to International Carpet One of Brownsville, Texas, in the amount of 81358 completion expected duration of 25 days. Uh, good evening, Honorable Mayor and City Commission. I'm currently here on behalf of Damaris McGlone. Uh, my name is Jose Perez. I'm the Assistant Director for the Purchasing Department. And today we bring forth uh, to you the agenda item for consideration and action to work a contract for the purchase, installation, and removal of carpet for the City of Brownsville Event Center to International Carpet One of the, uh, for, the, for our event center here for the amount of 81358 it's not going to slow down any of our rentals or anything? We've already coordinated with the contractor in regards to that, so we're trying to minimize that by, by calculating about 25 days total. I was going to say he knows he has six hours to install it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ideally. Would you, would you 25 days, Second. I think. So. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Item, Item 13, 13, consideration action to award a contract for the traffic signal and roadway improvements for Minnesota Avenue and Austin Road. Would you <laughs> bye. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mayor and Commissioners. I'm here tonight to award the contract for the uh, Austin Road and Minnesota 
and the lowest was D and G Energy for 120,000, 537.25. <coughs> it uh, funding is available. Okay. Uh, before it's approved, I just wanted to thank uh, Valley Interfaith for um, the hard work and making sure that I am aware <laughs> that they need their light. So this light is going into uh, this very uh, important corner where fatalities have happened. Uh, thanks to them. Motion to approve. I hear a second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Mayor, move to adjourn. Yeah. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Mm -hmm.